Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Being able to solve triangles is very important for your geometry as well as for your mathematics N1 and below I provided you an example that you can use to practice when you are preparing for your final exam. This particular example involving involves you uh, uh, needing to know the theory that involves triangles. Now let us look at the example. It says in triangle ABC, now whenever you see uh, this sign, it means triangle. So in triangle ABC, the following information is given. So now the information is that sign means angle. So angle Y is equal to 30 degrees and angle Z is equal to 80 degrees. Then it says calculate the other remaining angle and state, state what type of an angle it is with reasons. Now, whenever you are given such a question, you need first to come up with kind of a sketch so that you can be able to see what they are talking about. So if I can maybe sketch this particular uh, triangle, this triangle is triangle ABC. So if you can have a triangle like that, this is just a rough sketch. It's not uh, more like uh, accurate. So you are having your triangle in this case, it is A, it is Actually, it's not ABC and they told us it is um, actually I think there is an error there. It was supposed to say X, Y, Z, not ABC. So this is wrong. It's supposed to say X, Y, Z because they gave us angle and angles in terms of X, Y and Z. So X, Y, Z. So now when you are given that, it says angle Y, so you go to angle Y, in that part you are going to put the angle and this particular angle is 30 degrees as well as angle Z is 80 degrees. You have that which is 80 degrees. So you are having that and then it says calculate the other remaining angle and state its type. So you can see that in this case they want you to find this particular angle in this case it is angle X. So now they say calculate the remaining angle as well as state with reasons. So the first thing that you need to know is the theory involving the interior angles of a triangle. So now interior angles are the inside angles of a triangle. So there are three of them. The theorem says uh, on the interior angles, this means angles of a triangle, it says sum of interior angles of a triangle they are equal to 180 degrees so which means when you add all these three angles you must get 180 degrees so what does it mean it means if i say angle x plus angle y plus angle z it must give me 180 degrees. That is basically what this particular theorem is talking about. So now if we can now work on that, our angle X is the one that we don't know. We, we are looking for angle X. Now our angle Y is 30 degrees plus our angle Z is 80 degrees. It is equal to 180 degrees. So now the next thing that you need to do is to solve for X. So you will have your angle X. Now you can solve and add on the uh, left hand side whereby you have 80 plus 30 
which is your 110 so that is 110 it is equal to 180 then when you have done that what you need to do is to transpose or you need to uh, take the positive 110 to go to the other side of the equal sign the moment it jumps the equal sign changes from positive to negative so what you'll have is x angle x is equal to 180 minus 110 degrees and angle x is equal to the 180 minus 110 and this becomes 70 degrees so which means angle x in this case that particular angle is equal to 70 degrees you can actually test your answer if ever to check if you're right you must add those angles which is 70 plus 30 plus 80 they must give you inside of 180 degrees and also alternatively at this stage if you wanted to solve for x at this stage you could have actually taken 30 and 80 on the other side so that you're going to have x is equal to 180 minus 30 remember it's positive it changes to negative also is positive it changes to negative so that you have got your x is equal to and then with the calculator again you are going to have 180 minus 30 minus 80 this one allows you to get your answer directly i mean much quicker which is 70 degrees so this is how you can uh, find the interior one of the interior angles now the question says calculate the other remaining angle and then says and state what type of an angle is this now you know that you've got uh, three types of angles the first one is acute angle the second one is obtuse angle and the third one is a right uh, angle so now now op now acute means it is less than 90 degrees now obtuse means it is greater than 90 degrees and right angle means it is equal to 90 degrees so now the question is we are given that this angle is 70 degrees and 70 degrees is less than 90 degrees so what type of an angle it is an acute it is an acute angle remember you need to know the types of angles for that so in this case you can actually put a bracket and say acute angle now i hope this was of benefit to you it is um, a question that involved you being able to know that the interior angles of a triangle always is equal to 180 degrees thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you